try not to put anything directly on the sand to avoid updating it. So let's give that a go. Okay, that's safe sand. Ooh. Alrighty, so this is another one of them Latin cues that this is the area that goes back to the spawn or back to the path. Now, the great danger here is if a creeper spawns, I am going to be in trouble because a creeper could possibly do the block displacement thing and create a lava bridge. In fact, as a ward against that, probably the best thing that I could do is jump up and place a block every so often. Like you see this big flat area here? That looks scary to me. So I'm just going to jump up and place a block under me. Okay, so that updated and didn't knock the whole ground out under it. So that's a good sign. Right, well... So I'm just gonna keep going up here. I'm kinda curious, since the East Commons had the last intersection, if the West Commons has the next intersection. And if so, can it be reached just by going straight through here? Uh, I don't really have a compass or anything on me, but, oh, that's interesting. Uh, trees made of fence posts. Whoops, I did that wrong. I'm glad that was not a, about to be a horrible, horrible thing. Well, so let's see here. That's full of blocks just waiting to fall. That there is the same exact situation. So I'm just going to jump up here. That worked out okay. Get a better view. Well, that seems to be something of interest over there. Otherwise, it's all trees, essentially. Let's see. Just gonna slowly descend here to the point where I might not take any damage. <coughs> and I still did, of course. Being me. Okay, this looks like an area that you'd have <coughs> all the land fall out under you? Nope. Seems not to be. So I know that one's safe, or at least that little bit of it. Seems to be safe here. I'm hoping I don't regret spending so many torches. Okay, wow! Well, wowie-woo. There seems to be a great ob not obelisk, a pyramid over there, and a pumpkin atop this. So, I'm guessing that this is a, an ancient river bank. Looking at how that seems to be depressed <gasps> there. And I'm also guessing that I'm going to want to have a block to stand upon. That was a sand block. That would have killed me if there was actual lava there. Great job, Joe. And that would have been a failure as well. I'm just... I know what I need to be trying to do here. See, see, that's a safe block. I did that one right. Alrighty, so there's this huge pyramid here. That is likely the stuff of nightmares. Huh, well that's interesting. Bedrock and mossy cobblestone all around here. Well, I'm wondering if this is the entrance to the pyramid. So, I guess the entrance to the pyramid is kind of going to be an uh, underground entrance on account of the top part being all like that. Well, oh, there's the far wall. Let's see if uh, we see in any of those lighting clues that there's another intersection ahead. Because now that I got a taste for the wider map, honestly, I spent so long at Humble Start that I just cannot wait to see what's over the next hill. And... I'm just going to go out this way a little bit. Honestly, I'm amazed I've lived this long because I've been screwing up left and right. So we know this is safe. What do we got here? 
Just a huge shelf. We got creatures spawning there. Kind of a darkness area of the desert. Got that continuous, like, empty dry riverbank thing, though, going on, which I think is particularly interesting. Just gonna run through here, kind of. Yeah, that's really neat how that, uh. Seems to be some sort of chasm or canyon running the whole way. I'm wondering if I were to. Well, the height might not vary enough for me to be able to put in a bit of, uh. What do you call it? Uh, lava. And have the lava illuminate that whole area. But it's a cool idea. Whoa. There seems to be water over there. And the sun is starting to set. So I'm thinking I'm going to go see what's in this well-lit area with the water. On account of all the other lighting cues have been intensely helpful and moved the map along and oh god this is horrible so I'm just gonna once again jump place a block alrighty I know that time is against me here but I just can't be too paranoid in this map so we got some clay down here got that huge cliff area gonna just keep on climbing up here I like that this is all stone and uh, not, uh, well, anything else. Why can't I place that block? Am I too high up? No, I couldn't be. Huh. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. For some reason, I can't place blocks here. Well, now I did. So there's that. Uh, if I put this in here. And the water moves there, and I can go up to here. Ta-da! And that looks awesome. And the sun's setting. So I'm going to quickly regret not bringing more torches. Illuminate this chamber as best as I can. And try to see what's over there. And this is already going poorly. Can't light things up quickly enough. Story of my life by Joseph Hills, a story about lightning. Come on! There we go. Need more sandstone. And the sun's gonna f stop lighting things up here, and I'm gonna be in trouble, and... What does this say? West Commons? Swamp of Despair. Well, I'm gonna set up where I've got the sun at my back. So that... I know any creatures that spawn overnight will have to deal with its fiery heat. And if I find some wool, I can make a bed, at least. Honestly, I'm just amazed I made it through that desert without falling in another lava trap or something. So, anyway, uh, this is probably a good place to take a little break in the video. This is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee, as always. Thanks for watching. Well, it's looking like a brand new day, and I think I'm going to go out and see what's happening. Let's see here. So, West Commons is back this way, and the Swamp of Despair is ahead here. And there's also this chamber, which I may have probably had a better night spent in, but then again, it's a chamber pre-built by Vetches. Well, that appears to be the swamp over there, and there's already a skeleton coming at me. And it looks pretty dark. I don't really have many torches at this point, so I'm thinking it may be wiser to return through the desert to resupply. This will help for a few reasons. Uh, one of them is that I need more supplies. Another is that I think it'd be... Uh, I, I really didn't explore the entire desert. There's an entire area way over there that I haven't seen. 
I failed to circumnavigate that pyramid and I'm curious to see if there's any other light and queue areas along these lines here that might be of interest. So, you know, in the future when I'm preparing for adventures, knowing, okay, well, there's a swamp over there, I'm gonna wanna do that. That's helpful. I'm gonna get out the sandstone. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna get out the get out the sandstone such that I may proceed that's an interesting I like that formation I wonder if where that other leg goes there might be something else this here this looks like lava that's about to fall into a, or sand that's about to fall into a lava pit so you know being as I want to find that out now rather than when a creeper's gonna spawn, these are some, also some oddly spherical bits. <clears throat> 